Samsung Good Lock. It can transform your phone and every part of your phone to make it to your liking. Today, we're gonna to hone in on just one of the modules, Keys Cafe. Welcome back to Sam Owl TV. You're here with Daniel. Every single day, you use the keyboard on your phone. Every single day for everything that you do. So why not personalize it and customize it and change the functionality to suit how you actually use your keyboard? Well, you can do that with Keys Cafe. So today, let's go through everything that you can do with it so you can give yourself a keyboard that you actually want to use. This is what we're going to look at. How to make your own keyboard, how to style your own keyboard, you can create and edit custom sticker sets. There's a keyboard game or two keyboard games that you can play. It's, that's fun. And then there's some advanced settings on top of that as well that we'll show you. Starting with make your own keyboard. Turn this toggle on, open it up, and you can see a list of things that you can do. Right at the top, there is this upload icon, which allows you to upload keyboard files. So if someone's made a keyboard in Keys Cafe and shares it, you can then download that and add it into here and save it as a keyboard that you can customize and apply. But let's just show you how to make one completely from scratch. As you can see, I've got the different languages, English, Australian, English, US, and then symbols, which is like maths keyboards and stuff like that. I'm not gonna to go too heavily into that. I can show you sort of what that looks like. This is sort of, if you wanna edit the symbol part of your keyboard, which won't worry about too much. Let's just focus on the main part. So the plus icon here, you can see the different styles of keyboards that you can edit, QWERTY, QWERTS, and AZERTY. I'm all about that QWERTY life. So hit the edit icon, and here we are. Very daunting, very overwhelming. Right at the top, you've got like a question mark that you can sort of see, I guess, a little bit about what everything does here. So you've got like a reset icon. You've got a button that can add row, import keyboard. That's sort of what that looks like. And look at that, I've already added a row, but I don't need it. Let's just reset it to default. So right up here, you've got all the symbols and you can swipe through and look at the different categories of symbols. What these are for is if you want to change a symbol out. So at the bottom here, you've got sort of the keyboard, but if you press on a button, not only can you customize what that button looks like, but you can also change it. So if I wanted to change it to this one here, or if I wanted my one to look a little bit more exotic, I can do that and that's how that works. Be careful though, because you don't want to disrupt the functionality of the keyboard at the same time, but I'll reset to default again. But you can see the, the list of categories are quite extensive. When you actually do select a symbol or an, uh, something on your keyboard, you can customize the size of it. So you can see here the number one, I can invert it into with a different color. I can change the width of it. Sure. I can change the height of it. Sure again. I like the idea of the width being changed for the space bar. I always seem to miss the space bar in certain things. So I can change it in here if I want to. And the height too. You make it higher so it's easier to hit. But there's also the option to change it like the alignment of it. So You can see there, as I'm sort of swiping through, it's sort of moving the alignment as it needs to be. Yeah, let's reset the default settings. What else you can do here is add in extra rows. So this button here, you can just keep adding rows in. As you can see, keep adding rows in. Let's go maximum. And then you can customize what's in those rows. So if I wanted to change that emoji out to the 100 emoji, that's going to look like that. When you're done, you hit this, you save it, you can see the keyboard is there. I hit save. That's now going to be my default keyboard. What I can also do though, is I can share it. So if I want someone else to have this keyboard, I can share it to them. Then they can go through Keys Cafe and apply it. It's really neat. It's good to style your own keyboard because there's so many cool things you can do with your keyboard to theme it out. You can do this in Theme Park as well, but I'm going to focus on Theme Park in a dedicated video, I'm just going to focus on what you can do within the keyboard theming here. So there's some recommendations that it can make, or there's one that I've made previously. And for some reason, oh, no, it is there. And you can bring it up. All right. Now this is my 
very expansive keyboard and you can see some of the effects that I've got sort of in play as I sort of click on it. I'll show you how to do it. So you can see there's some recommended ones that are down here, but let's just make our own. So first thing you can do is set a base color scheme. So I can go here, maybe I want to make it blue. Okay, that's now the base. And then from there, I can select sort of the color palette that I'd like. So I can make it a bit darker, a bit greener, a bit brighter, depending on what I sort of like. And then that kind of changes the background of the keyboard and also the color of the keys as well. You can also adapt it for night mode. So if you want to, you don't have to have the same for both. You can change the night mode color scheme to be something different. So maybe I want that to be green and then pressing the keys lights up green. But within that, you can actually customize sort of what each button sort of looks like. So here, if I press here, I can make the keys orange. Or if I go here, I can make these outside keys inside of them green. Like each one of these little circles allows you to change what the key actually does when you press it and the color that it changes to. Pressing this button up here removes that and gives you sort of a clean view over what it looks like. You can also add a background to your keyboard. So you can go into the gallery and select a photo and then that photo becomes the background of your keyboard. At the top here, you can change different things as well. It's all very sort of customizable. When you're done, you download it, create a name, hit OK, and then that is now sort of going to be set as the theme and color scheme of your keyboard. Now I've got to hit test. You select it, and that is now the color scheme of your keyboard. But that's not it. You can change the effects. So if I go to effects here, there's actually different color effects and keyboard effects that you can implement. So there's different motions, so you can make it wobble a certain way there's different colors so it can make it look like a footprint being on there or like squares there's just a lot of different things and then there's a, a color effect for behind the keys so customize everything and it's all customizable as well with a color scheme that you can select at the top and again you can preview what that's going to look like by pressing on it but further to that there's sound so there's actually so I can go turn on, here we go. System sounds need to be on. AI system don't want that. There we go. System sounds 150. So I'll hold this up. That's one of them. You've got calm touch, fun touch. I like retro touch because to me, retro touch sounds like a mechanical keyboard and then you can bring it up and then that can be your sound for your keyboard. So that's how you style it, right? Pretty neat. Next, you've got the stickers. So this is where you can kind of create a custom sticker set and it becomes like a heading or like a header within your sticker sort of packs that you've got. So you select like a photo to be like the header, all right? So that's now going to be the cover. Stickers. What? Oh, there we go. She's keyboard is changing back straight away. I hit that and within here, that's the cover. So when I go into the keyboard now, go into here, go into the emojis and at the top, you can see there's a new sticker sort of pack there with a cover and the two stickers that I sort of added in. It's very simple. It's just how you can add stickers in. Then we're into the keyboard game because this for me is where you can have a lot of fun with your keyboard, especially practicing because if you get a new keyboard and you need to adjust to it, you can do that from here. So fifth sentence practice is the first one. So let's enter my name. Oh, goodness. This will be fun. So it'll be English and I'll hit start. So now I just need to type this sentence. 
a hero. Oh, goodness. Hero with ah, a mortgage. No, that is not nice. Ah. One eternity later. So at the end, it gives you a score, which I'm not probably too proud about, but I've got 145 characters per minute, accuracy 100%. That's only because I went back and fixed it all. The other keyboard game is Word Rain. Basically, it's almost like Tetris, where you just need to hit the words before it falls to the floor as they come raining down on you. And you get a score for finishing the words. Ah! A few moments later. And I will drown. Brutal way to end the game. You get your score. Oh, that's it. That's keyboard games. Now, the last one in here is advanced keyboard setting. So you can go in here and there's extra sort of toggles that are really sort of advanced. So there's an auto replacement sensitivity that you can adjust high, medium, or low. There's a delete accelerator, whatever that means. There's a double tap interval of three by four keyboards. So you can adjust the double tap interval of three by four keyboards. Okay. And then you can see use sticker suggestions in a larger view when the suggestion method is shown above the keyboard. That one I might turn on. Doesn't seem so advanced. That's Keys Cafe. This is the way you can take a normal Samsung keyboard and turn it into a crazy one of any kind, of any description, and it's completely up to you. Hit subscribe to Send Mobile TV for more good lock module content and plenty of other stuff. Turns out when I started recording the video, it was sort of overcast and now it's now it's gone sunny. Whatever. See you guys next time. Thanks. Yeah.